Hi and welcome to another part of Yocto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about R provides variable in Yocto. So what is R provides variable? R provides variable is used to give name aliases or alternative names to a single recipe. What does it mean? Let us see this example. First of all, I have here R provides example recipe. What this recipe does is simply it copies to hello world dot sh this is a, 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 a bash script into user bin now let us build this recipe inside the image so I have here simply image install append I provide example now let us build the image and see what happens So the image is being built. So as you can see that the image has been built successfully. Now instead of using R provides example, let us just write here R provides and let us build it once again. So as you can see here is an error has been occurred. It says nothing R provides R provides. It means this recipe does not exist. So now what you want to do is we will give an alias to R provides example. The first alias or alternate name is R provides and other is live true. We have given here two names. We can use either of them now in local.conf. Right now I am using R provides and building the image once again. So the image has been built and this time no error has been occurred. Now as you can see that this time image has been built successfully. So this is how we use the R provides. And other use case of R provides is let us say we have this recipe R provides example and this recipe also contains or it copies the library called libfoo in the image. And I have an other recipe which depends on libfoo to run. So here we can also use libfoo in R depends of an other recipe. Why we give libfoo? We can also give some other meaningful names. We have given libfoo here because it, it represents that we will be using the libfoo or this recipe requires the libfoo library although this package will install all the libraries and all the uh, binaries but the name shows that this is the library that it will be using and it is much more meaningful now what we do is we will comment this out and this time we will uncomment this so it means that we have seen the building of image with R provides now here we'll see it with libfoo for R depends please watch my previous video so let us build the image once more and see what happens so the image is in building so as you can see that this time also the image has been built successfully. So these are two user case, two use case of uh, R provides that I have shown you. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you in the next video. And thank you for watching.